I'm doing some repairs to this organ and I thought it'd be a good time to make a video on uh, how to access the different parts of it. Uh, it's actually a lot more simple than you'd think. Uh, this one happens to be a Wurlitzer model 4100BD. Um, okay, so if you want to access like the power amp and the tubes kind of stuff, once you get the back off, there's there was a screw up here. There was a screw down here. And there was a screw up here. Yeah, one up here. One is right here. And that one down there. And then you can open this up and access all the electronics, the speaker. Um, if you don't know much about electronics, you should not touch any of this. You don't want to touch stuff like that right there. Um, that has a lot of power in it and it can shock you and kill you. So don't touch those unless they're discharged properly and you know what you're doing. Um, here are some other things. The, the problem I had with mine was the switch was bad and I knew this because I flipped the switch, the light didn't come on, I checked the fuse, uh, the fuse was good, because the light didn't come on, and I didn't hear any sound, if the light was bad I'd hear sound, um, but because the light didn't come on I figured it was a switch, so to get to that, here's the top, and there's three screws, one there, one here, and one there, and then this top comes off. And then this part, there's just a screw here and another screw right down there. And then this pulls up. And now, check that out. You can access any of these keys. You have a bad key. You can fix it. You can change the key. There's a little, basically each one's an on off switch. One of these goes bad. Now you can get down in here, change these out, get new switches, you know? It makes it a lot simpler. The power button, there was a screw here and a screw in the front. Took that out. And just to test it, there's these two leads and I jumped those to make it permanently on. I jumped those, plugged it in and it turned right on. 